Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to part two of um of this mystery game, which I'm super excited to to do with you guys. Sorry, I got distracted there for a second. I do apologize for that. Okay, you ready? You're ready to start this game because I'm excited. Excuse me. So just a recap of what happened is this guy who went on a trail was unalived from someone his by a shovel he was on trail a which was a supposedly closed he usually takes trail b um the objectives we have are the newspaper his post on facebook cheryl who owns the bar before he goes so he uh he'll go there every day before his hike and usually he sticks to trail b but trail a was one he took because it was raining um we have binoculars is another objective again cheryl zachary who were the two to basically be around him the day of his uh, unaliving number three we are looking need to look at the weather the missing binoculars and his facebook post and then come objective two um, what was the question again with objective two? Uh, it was, why did Nathaniel take trail A when it was closed? Because he didn't care that day. Trail A was open and safe. Even though it showed it was closed, he was tired of trail B and it was raining. So now we're on to objective number three. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. I don't know if we'll... Um, There'll probably be three parts to this because there it, it, there's a lot of objectives. I think there's about six objectives. Okay. Oh, we're a little too far. Okay. <clears throat> we now understand why Nathaniel felt it was safe to use trail A. Brad Walker isn't willing to, to talk to us any further, but we have some new evidence. Um some new evidence that has come in to take a look at we've also taken a sample of the white paint used on the tree and it appears to be regular house paint just give me one second here Sorry. <clears throat> so new evidence, by a stroke of luck, we've managed to recover a few deleted photos from Nathaniel's um, cameras, SD. If we're able to recover more, I'll send more over later. And we've also searched through Nathaniel's car and found a letter um, in the glove compartment. Even though Brad won't talk to us, he has sent over the hotel invoice from his stay out of state as well as the last email that Nathaniel sent him. So objective three is something in this new evidence points to another crime. What is it? Okay. Okay, let's see here. So you're poking your nose into matters that doesn't concern you and pissing a lot of people off. Consider this your only warning, you're in over your head and if you care about your safety, you'll stop snooping. I know where you live, Nathaniel, and I know where that pretty little girlfriend of yours does too. So that one's kind of a threat. So I wonder if there's a threat at the beginning, the threatening letter I'll just put for note taking. Okay, CSI report evidence analysis location, uh, Sutton City Crime Lab, Nathaniel Green murder, uh, unaliving investigation, white substance on tree, white substance on tree, okay.
it could doesn't have to be the C word. Um, analysis upon receiving evidence, our team has conducted that through analysis, substance used to write the message on the tree found along hiking trail. Visual examination and initial observe, observation indicated the substance resembled paint. Microscopic analysis, microscopic examination, other residue was carried out to identify its texture, structure, and pigmentation. Chemical analysis testing was conducted using specialized regions to detect the presence of common components. Spectroscopy, Fourier transform inferred spectro spectroscopy, FTIR, and, Ram and Ram Raman spectroscopy, oh my gosh, were employed to determine the molecular structure of the substance. I could have just said the results, but I wanted to let you know what it said. The substance used to write the message on the tree was identified as a regular White House paint. The paint is commonly used for exterior surfaces, particularly for painting walls and house. So it was paint. So that is not a crime. I mean, if you really want to think of it as vandalism, then that is a crime. So the hotel invoice for Brad Walker. For the attention of Detective Reynolds from Brad, from Brad, um, okay, so bill to Brad, important, hey buddy, do you think Sandra would like this? So, oh, okay, so this is important, um, in the inbox, so maybe it's a hint to us when we play it, it's important. Last email Nathaniel sent to Brad Walker, hey buddy, do you think Sandra would like this? In quiet hours, I'm lost in thought. I'm thought, thinking of the future. So these are kind of, so some of these words are highlighted. So I'm wondering if I should hi keep those words highlighted. Wording. Was, I, in quiet hours, I'm lost in thought thinking of the future love finally love finally route of hearts entwined a story disclosing pro, disclosing proposing dreams tomorrow Loves composing. Wish me luck as I take this chance. Stepping into the dance of romance. With hope ablaze. I'm just writing the words that are highlighted, by the way. Emotions aflow. Tomorrow's promise is a promise a love to grow. I have I wonder if they're gay. I don't know. Maybe I'm looking into it a little bit too much, but I wonder if they're gay. <laughs> I I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, so the words that are highlighted are I'm thought, thinking of, finally, story, proposing, tomorrow, wish me luck. Chance stepping a blaze of flow, promise to grow. So there's some code in that that we might have to look back on. Photograph of Brad Walker on a date. Photo photograph of Sandra Phillips at home. So there's some kind of stalking and blackmail. That would be the crime, the other crime, because that white stuff on the paint, or on the tree was just paint, so that's, like, unless you consider vandalism as the crime, we'll write it down, but I think it's, like, stalking, and, like, because, you know, like, an unaliving mystery, you don't want to just play it off easy and go with vandalism, you want to go a little bit, not too much, but not, <coughs> you know, just to get a clue. <coughs> 
Excusez-moi. What do you guys think of this game so far? I would like to hear your thoughts, opinions. Comment below if you want me to do another one of these because I love doing these. They're just, they're fun. They're entertaining. Um, I haven't, I'm not really like, I don't know. I'm, in, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying doing these. They're fun. I, I'm going to do more board games. So these ones are going to be my specialties, I think, like little series of mystery because, of course, you can't, it's hard to get through it in one one sitting so we're like we're already 10 minutes in and like I, I like I'm not even close to we're not even close to objective six yet so we are on objective four now who wants to see if we're right oh so it was theft but how could it have been theft you're poking your note addressed Okay, so something in the new evidence points to other crime. You're poking your nose into matters that don't concern you and pissing a lot of people off. Consider this your only warning. You're in over your head and you care about your safety. You'll stop snooping. I know where you live, Nathaniel, and I know where that pretty little girl of yours is too. See, to me, that sounds like like a little bit of a threat. Um, what could have been stolen, though? I don't know how theft could be in here because there's nothing about theft. Houses, hotel, mass email sent, photograph of Brad Walker on a date. Hmm. Am I right? Like, okay. Who wants to see? I'm going to do the answer right now. Extortion, stolen art, hotel theft. So, ex Okay, so I was not right at all. <laughs> I didn't realize that was hotel theft. Stolen art. That wasn't very obvious. Hotel theft. Okay, that's the true answer. Yeah, I think I need to, I think I'm going to go back to the clue so we don't always get the answer. Clue one was look closely at the photos. Doesn't that artwork look familiar? It doesn't though. Like, it was, there wasn't pictures of the hotel. Oh, yeah, never mind. I see, okay. Never mind. I, I I joke. There was, okay. Um, theft. Check the newspaper from earlier. Okay, we're gonna use these clues. The newspaper shows a photo of stolen artwork. The email has colors over some letters. This might be important. The notebook has a rainbow. And then I'm thinking and proposing tomorrow. Wish me luck. Ah, okay. So that's what I thought I got out of that too. That was the clues. Those were the clues, but those, so extortion, stolen art, and hotel theft. Okay, so, was it, so now that she has been arrested, we're on object, objective four. And we're going to use the clues again. So I messed that one up, but that's okay. We live, we learn. Well, that was unexpected. We've arrested her for theft while we continue to investigate. If she had another... Sorry. If she had an, anything to do with the murder as well, we contacted the hotel that Brad stayed at and they've shown us video footage of him sitting in the hotel's restaurant during the time of Nathaniel's death. 
you've been noticing a lot of stuff we missed. There was an earlier text from Brad um, to Nathaniel, but it looked like gibberish. Maybe you'll have some ideas on what it means I've attached it. Our digital forensic unit was able to pull two more photos from that S that camera's SD card. Aren't they amazing? Something in the evidence may have been tampered with. What is it and who did it? Let's see. So, evidence may have been tampered with what is it and who did it i wonder if the binoculars have anything to do with it okay so interrogation report miss sandra phillips sutton county police station and interrogated by Doc detective reynolds um, Sandra Phillips, you're aware of the situation here. We've uncovered evidence linking you to the art thefts at the gallery. It's time to come clean. Detective Reynolds, I'm so sorry. I know what I did was wrong. I didn't plan for things to get out of control like this. We need to understand why, Sandra. Why did you steal from the gallery? It's complicated. I got myself into some financial trouble. I was desperate. I thought maybe this was my ticket out. But I never intended for things to escalate this far. Did Nathaniel find out that you were behind the theft? Is that why you killed him? What? No, dete no Detective Nathaniel had no idea about any of this. I never told him or anyone else. I need the truth, Miss Phillips. Who were you planning to sell the stolen art to? There's this guy, Juli Julius? Or Julius? I'm going to say Julius. Hey, Wood, he's someone I met at the mountaintop. He knew people involved in some shady stuff, and he offered to help me find potential buyers for the stolen art. He said he had contacts who might be interested. Did Julius ever mention Nathaniel to you? No, detective, I swear. Juli Julius never mentioned Nathaniel, and he had nothing to do with, th with his death. I just wanted to find a way out of my problems, and now everything is falling apart. Detective Reynolds, Miss Phillips, you're in a serious situation now. We need to know everything you know about Julius and his associates. It's time to be completely honest. I understand, Detective. I'm telling you everything I know. I only spoke to Julius a few times. We're not friends or anything. He gave me the phone number and we haven't spoken since. Have you called the number? No, not yet. I was waiting for things to calm down a bit. They just seem to be getting worse. We'll take that number and we'll have more questions for you later. <coughs> Miss Mia Roberts... Good morning, Miss Roberts. Thank you for coming in today to speak with us. I understand you have some information about a suspicious individual you encountered near the hiking trail on July 31st. Is that correct? Yes, that's right. I just want to help if I can. If I can, I saw you guys were looking for in, any info about Nathaniel's murder on TV. I don't know if this is important or not, but I thought I should tell you all just in case. We appreciate your willingness coming forward with any info. Can you tell us what you saw that day? Oh, of course. July 31st, I was working my shift at Mayfair Cafe, which is right at one of the entrances to Trail to Trail A. There was this guy in the cafe that kept hitting on me, and we couldn't, we wouldn't take no for an answer. Or sorry, and wouldn't take no for an answer. He was super obnoxious and rude. And then at 9:30 a.m., he left immediately. I remembered because the radio station we had on announced at the time. Can you describe this man's appearance? Me, Roberts said he wasn't too tall, had very short dark hair, and was dressed um, in hiking gear. He had sort of intense look in his eyes that gave me the creeps. Did he give you his name? He, yes, he introduced himself as Julius. Did Julius say anything specific during... Oops, oh my gosh, I keep doing that. During your encounter. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, he just mentioned that he was heading on to Trail A. He asked if I'd like to join him, but I declined. He also asked me a bunch of personal questions about myself. It was just strange and uncomfortable. Did Julia show any other unusual behavior or mention anything that caught your attention? Yes, he was carrying a map and he seemed to be focused on something. He kept glancing at the trail entrance almost like he was waiting for something or someone. 
It also sounded like you knew Nathaniel. <laughs> Nathaniel brought a regular customers at the cafe. They sometimes stop by before or after their hikes. I've also seen their coded messages to each other on trail on trees on the trail. I was worried that the chalk could be harmful to the environment, but they assured me that it's the true biodegradable type and is completely harmless when washed away by the rain. Did you notice anything else unusual or suspicious about Julius? Just his overall demeanor and the way he was acting. I've interacted with hikers before and he just didn't give off good vibes. Thank you for sharing this information, Mia. If we need anything else, we'll be in touch. You're welcome. I hope it helps. I do have to say something aside from this. I find it odd that there's shady people at a hiking trail. I really do. I don't know. I don't feel like those are the, that's where people that are shady or do some weird kind of crime on the side. You know, I don't think that's where... I would not I would not find shady people on a hike. Like especially if it's like a like a backpacker's hike. You know what I mean? Like I don't know if that makes any sense, but it is it makes sense to me. Okay. So there's these receipts. An invoice for spark jewelry for six a uh, bill to Nathan for 6000 so that was definitely the ring, because it's Star Spark Jewelry. Yeah, it says Diamond Ring. There was a fresh Mort Emporium, <laughs> so milk and white bread, 591 And then there's a receipt for, or a bill, sorry, an invoice. For $3,571 for Tech Haven Electronics. So a digital camera, a telephoto, manual, zoom lens, and SD card. So, so there's a camera? Or, or is, so I wonder if there's, yeah, there's a camera, right? Okay, moving on. Interrogation report. Mr. Julius Haywood. <clears throat> we brought so it says good afternoon, Mr. Haywood. We brought you in to discuss some matters related to our ongoing investigation. I hope you'll cooperate. Sure, whatever. But I don't know why I'm here. I've got nothing to do with whatever's going on. We're, we've received information that you were seen near the hiking trail on July 31st. Can you confirm your whereabouts on that day? I was out and about doing my own thing. It's really none of your business what, what I do in my free time. We, we believe you may have been on the same trail as Nathaniel. Care to explain? Well, you're mistaken then. I wasn't anywhere near him. You do know him, don't you? Well, of course. His face is all over the news. I know of him. He's just, he's the guy who tripped and fell off a cliff, leaving that pretty little girlfriend all alone. Did you ever have any interactions with Nathaniel? No, I'm not exactly the chit-chat type. Ah. <clears throat> what about Sandra? She claimed you gave her a phone number for potential art buyers. Sandra, Nathaniel's ex-girlfriend. Is that her name? I've never spoken to her before. Look, detective, I'm just a guy trying to live my life. I stay away from trouble and keep to myself. Let's talk about July 31st. Witnesses say you were in a hurry heading toward the hiking trails. Can I explain why? Oh, that. I remember now. I was rushing to New York uh, Mall for the boot for a boot sale. There was a store I wanted to hit up, and the fastest way there was through the trails. Nothing wrong with that. So you were just in a hurry for some shopping? Exactly. I wasn't involved in anything. I kept. I keep my hands clean. We'll be investigating all angles. Julius, you might want to think about cooperating before things get more complicated for you. I've got nothing to cooperate about. If we're done here, I'd like to leave now. We'll be in touch. Don't go too far. <coughs> Earlier messages from Nathaniel's phone to Brad. Hey, Brad, I haven't told any, anyone this yet, but there's something you should know. Keep it quiet, please. Dude, I've got something important to show you. Meet me at Fifth Stop Trail A. Stop. Oh my god. Meet me at the Fifth Stop on Trail A tomorrow at 10 a.m. I was planning to hit Trail B tomorrow. Huh.
trail B. Interesting. Trail A, fifth stop to 10 a.m. There's something you'll want. And then we gotta, then we have this code here. This code. Which I don't know if I'd figure that out, but. Interesting, okay. Okay, so clue one, those invoices might have something interesting in them. So we'll go back to the invoices <coughs> that had a tampering of evidence. Well, my question is, they said invoice, she didn't say receipt, so, because a receipt, this is another receipt. Hmm. Okay. Did I miss something? So I thought maybe this was a ticket up. I never intended to escalate this far, but the idea. There's this guy who leaves hanging out to learn that I'm not talking to you about stuff. Or, no. He has never mentioned Nathaniel and nothing to this stuff. I understand that I feel I'm telling you everything I know. I only spoke to Julius a few times. We're not friends. So. Look at the new camera that Nathaniel bought. It's a digital camera. Nova Focus. He has the Nova Focus V X four three five. And what is the name? So evidence.
So there's definitely different cameras, so this one is in evidence. Okay. This is a pig pen cipher. Match the symbols to the correspondence of letters. For example, whenever you see a square shape, it can be replaced with an S, while a square shape with a dot, it will be replaced with an O. Okay, so we gotta go back to... This is hard. Okay, so... So there's like a code thing. A pig pen cipher match the symbols to the corresponding letters. For an example, whenever you see a square shape, it can be replaced with an S. With a square shape with a dot, it, it will be replaced with an O. Okay, so. Pink pins. Okay, sorry guys. Um, let's figure this out. Okay. So we gotta go pig pens. I'm looking this up because I don't know. How long have we been on? 32 minutes, guys. Oh my god. That's okay. I don't care. Okay. What is it? Let's see here. What's oh, like that? So, okay, if I, for example, in a racy square shape. It will be replaced with an S or a square shape with a dot will be replaced with an O. Okay, so let's see. O S O S O Okay, how does this is so like tricky. I don't know if I get it. I see it's an E. Let's see, totally. Okay, so let's let's figure this out. Like an F with this. So an R. An L. C. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is so confusing. The backwards L, the dot is J. R, C, J, L again, which is R, 
The total square without that is E. Okay. Or it's S. So, and then we'll do this again. Total square would be E. Um, I don't know. This is confusing. Okay. Okay, so whenever you see a square shape, this is an S. Well, a square shape with a dot, it'll be placed with an O. Or it's a yeah, S. Then we go here, and then we go S, O. S S S O <laughs> What? Or could be I then Oh, this is weird. A oh. Okay. I don't know this one. This one's too complicated, so I'm gonna go with the SOSO thing. Um so S O O O S S S O O O S O O O O O S. Okay. Sorry if you see me snapping, I'm just snapping my boyfriend. Okay, anyways, moving on, that one was really tough, okay, now, text message, the first word is Julius, Julius, so, Julius is the first word, because I'll be honest, it's confusing, have you checked the notebook, what notebook? Um, no, I think it's up here in section, somewhere in one of the sections here. Okay, here we go, trail B, okay, oh my god, I found it, okay. Okay, so, have you checked the notebook? Okay, how does this work? Oh, I kind of get it now, because, so, I mean like a side-by-side -side of it. Because I need to go here. No, I need to go here. No, not there. Here. 
Let me make a little side by side of it. Okay, I know what I could do. I just want to see how this works. Okay. My phone might die. It's at 1%. It's going to die. Give me one second. This is a lot. <laughs> So I want to see how this works. So this is, I'm going to write it out. I'm going to write out, I'm going to draw it out. Okay, let's see here. So if we go back up to the notebook. I wish I had this side by side. It would have been easier, probably. So, J would be, because it has the dot. Yep, so J, Julius, and then L, U, I see, I see, and then goes like just go like this so has to where is the L okay at the top of the dot I see and then what's the I oh my gosh okay and then who is U and then the square is an S Okay, so one's with the dot, one without the dot, the dot. Okay, I see that makes so much sense. I'm gonna do this because I'm excited. I wanna see. So now next one is so it goes like okay, and we have. Squared. This might take an hour and a half, and you know what? If it does, it does. Okay, so now I understand it better. Okay. So I did the square without the dot is. A, and then we have without the dot, P, O, A, C, H coach mm. and then E with the and then the next one is that so this is a poacher. Okay, what? next poacher and then we have do another line over okay. 
to. Do. Do. Okay. I wish I could show you guys this. Um, I'm not a good. Like, hey, this is kind of here. If you can see it. This is what I'm writing. This is like the. Um, pigment it's what it's called pigment writing or pig pen pig pen oh my gosh okay let's get back up here this is kind of fun i'm enjoying this okay so now that we have that so now it goes this way so we have the dot so i Yeah, that without the dot, so it'd be W without the dot. And then with the dot G, then over here mark on the dot E. I will get proof. It's a poacher. I will get proof. Julius, you're looking bad. <laughs> um. Hey, I will get proof. And then one more, last one. With the dot E E I like pig pen writing, it's fun. I like I'll I'll always like the code writing, it's fun to learn it. Okay. Okay. So again I am going this is the last line, if you can see that okay. Um let's get into it. Okay, so we have going this way so it will be a should be a T with the dot O and this way M E R R O and then this one makes sense for W. Okay. So what it says is, Julius is a poacher. I will get proof tomorrow. That's what that was for. So we gotta look back at the other old objectives as well. So, so now we have the notebook. Okay. And the photos. Photograph of Nathaniel. And Zach. So that was taken ten days before Nathaniel's death. Um, Nathaniel said on July twentieth, and then July thirtieth, Zachary Evans with his nice car. Okay. Oh, you're not. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. is next they need to know who tampered with it so I feel like so objective four is something in evidence may have been tampered with what is it and who did it so the camera was tampered with Hold on, sorry guys.
Wish I had a plug in there just a little bit closer. Um, oh, 10% will do. Oh, no, it's not 1%. Never mind. Okay. Okay. So this, this one seems a little off because it's saying what is it and who did it and the answers, I'm just looking because I'm confused. It's saying, it's not saying the answer of what it was, but it's saying who did it. So it was, um, that's why I was really confused. I thought we were looking at what, not who. So Sandra, Zachary, okay, give me one second. Wasn't very that wasn't very clear how they tampered with it. I guess we kinda of gotta look in the report today. Eh? So Sandra Sandra Phillips, there's this guy, Julius. Well I guess her painting would have been tampering with evidence. Um Zach, I'm not exactly sure. Some but I uh, I guess maybe from the camera and stuff. And Brad, who also tampered with it. Okay. Five, we have placed him under arrest for tampering with evidence, theft, and obstruction of justice. It turns out that he was obsessed with Nathaniel. His life was issued, his life. We issued a search warrant for his house and found a collection of articles related to Nathaniel and his life. His search story also showed that he stalked Nathaniel's social media relentlessly as, as for the number we got from Sandra. We tried calling it, but it's already been disconnected. It looks like that lead is dead. New evidence. We were, however, able to locate Nathaniel's real camera in Zachary's house. Hmm... Okay. Objective five. Okay, we're all in Zachary's house. There was only one important photo on it, and that we sent it over to you. We've also found all the missing found the miss, the missing binoculars that were given. Um that were in pretty bad conditions from the fall. They've been put in storage. Who wrote the threatening letter? And give two reasons. So this is objective five. From <coughs> the five total suspects, which three have solid alibis? Okay. I think we're down to the nitty gritty, like the last of it. And I'm gonna leave that for now. Um, we're gonna come back to objective five. Now that we figured out who tampered with the evidence, it was Sandra, his ex-girlfriend, Zachary and Brad. 
Uh, and now we see a photograph of Julius and Cheryl holding a fresh wolf pet. Dun, dun, dun. So, and then last, and then the last thing on the page is the f a phone number from Sandra Phillips um, saying you're welcome at the bottom. Okay, who do you guys think did this? So we have five people in that could be the killer. We have Cheryl Ford. We have Sandra, Zachary, Brad, Mia, I believe her name was, right? I just got checked. Uh, she was, yeah, Mia Roberts and Julius. Who do you think did it? Curious what you guys think. And then we'll go back to next, uh, that'll be this Friday and then next Monday, Wednesday, we will finish this game. What do you guys think about it? Let me know if you guys want to hear more from me uh, or more of it because this is fun. Like, let's be honest. Yes, it's it, this one's an hour long, the longest video I've, I think I've ever completed, but I didn't realize how long these are. I would love a shorter one, but I don't feel like they, those exist. So you guys have an awesome rest of your day and we'll chat soon. Bye now.